Georgia and Alabama. Break it down for me. What do you think? Uh, so you obviously have this is Kalen DeBoer, new coach at Alabama, his first you know big big game. Like we had him a couple weeks ago. They played in Madison. They blew out the Badgers. What I'm fascinated with last year. So neither team, by the way, is ranked number one right now. Um, you have Texas is number one, Georgia is number two. But I think last time they met in the SEC title game, Al Georgia was one, Alabama was eight. Alabama really took over the game in the trenches. Their O-line, which had been a question mark earlier in the year, mm -hmm. really stepped up and took it to Georgia. Georgia's banged up on the on the D-line, but they're still super talented. The last time they played, which is, you know, they had a bye week last week, so the two weeks ago, they played at Kentucky. And Kentucky ran the ball, I don't want to say down their throats, but it was like 180 rushing yards. It's not a great Kentucky team. They gave them all they could handle. Um, I suspect we're going to see a, a really dominant performance by Georgia. I remember there's some, there some quotes that are, you know, lingering after the game last year about that that I, sh that I know that bothers some of the Georgia players. What I'm really excited to see is is how Georgia responds, but also this is a first chance for the country to really get a good look at Jalen Milrow in Kalen DeBoer's system. They have really dynamic speed outside at receiver. Um, you know, I think the offensive line is good. I don't know if it's great, but it's good. But Milrow is so explosive, and he does throw a good deep ball. And again, I, like... I'm interested to see what Kalen has up his sleeve. He's a really good offense. He's just a great coach. Uh, I'm not saying that I think they're going to win going away, but it's that challenge of, you know, Georgia looked terrific against Clemson in the opener, and they did not look very good the last time out. But again, this game was looming. It's not just, you know, Georgia has a loaded schedule. They still have, you know, Ole Miss and Tennessee um, left and, 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 you know, a bunch of other tests. But... I can't wait to see what, what happens in Tuscaloosa Saturday. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.